And a good morning to you. We're coming on the air with breaking news about former President Donald Trump. Just moments ago, a federal appeals court in Washington, D.C., rejected Mr. Trump's legal claim that the former president is immune from criminal charges for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. This all ahead of his criminal trials that are slated to start a little bit later this year, as early as March, perhaps. Let's go straight to our senior legal correspondent, Laura Jarrett. So let's just start with what this ruling means yeah. and what it does not mean. And I would assume that the president will likely appeal immediately to the Supreme Court. He may go to the Supreme Court, Craig, but just to walk people through what has happened here, the former president tried to file this motion to try to get the case completely wiped away from the books, right? Because if he's immune from prosecution, then he cannot be trial at, at all. And again, this isn't the case in Washington, D.C., where he's been accused of trying to overturn the last election. Now, he lost in the lower court on that issue. He appealed up to this three-judge panel Two Biden appointees, one Bush appointee, has rejected that completely. Now that he's lost at this level, he can try to go to the full panel of D.C. Circuit judges there. There are about 11 or 13 active judges. Or, if he wants, he can go to the Supreme Court. Now, my, why might he want to go to the full D.C. Circuit? Because the whole point of this is to delay, delay, delay. Got it. And so if he does that, it slows this train down, Craig. NBC's Garrett Haik has, uh, has been covering the former president. Uh, Garrett joins us now there from Washington. Garrett, have we heard anything so far from the, from the former president or his team? We've not yet, Craig, but I think we know what we will hear from the former president. I suspect he will announce an appeal either to the district court, uh, or to the appeals court and bank, as, as Laura was suggesting, or to the Supreme Court. He has been really singularly focused on this case, including posting on social media overnight what he believes is the importance of continuing this concept of presidential immunity past the presidency, suggesting that any future president would immediately be indicted after leaving office by the opposing party. He argues in in public, uh, to a lesser degree than in his uh, filings before the courts, that a sitting president would be unable to properly function if this ruling had gone against him. Again, that was a post from last night. I suspect we will soon hear more from him today. And, Craig, remember that Donald Trump has made all of these legal battles that he's engaged with, and especially this case, central to his campaign. He argues that this is all political speech that he was involved in, that he's being targeted by the courts and by the Biden Justice Department because he cannot be beaten by President President Biden electorally. Now he has this court defeat on his plate. I suspect we will soon see this continue to be a centerpiece of his political arguments. It has worked for him with his base, winning these first early primaries uh, in the Republican presidential nominating contest. Many Republican voters I've talked to say they could have agree with Donald Trump in theory about these cases, but there's peril for him politically down the line if these cases do move forward into the summer and early fall election season, Craig. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.